Hey guys, welcome to the Saturday Doobly Feature. On today's episode, we're getting dazed and confused. Oh yeah. More than normal, which is hard. Welcome back to the Doobie Feature. Today we're gonna to be watching Dazed and Confused. Uh, it's the last day of high school in a small town in Texas in 1976. The upperclassmen are harassing the incoming freshmen and everyone is trying to get snorted, drunk, or laid. Woo! Even the football players that signed a pledge not to. It's an American coming of age comedy film written and directed by Richard Linklater. Uh, the film features a large ensemble cast of actors who would later become stars, including Jason London, Ben Affleck, Mila Jovovich, Cole Hauser, Parker Posey, Adam Goldberg, and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Wow. You end on a big one right there. Wow. Because there are a lot of stars in this movie. There's even stars in the background of this movie. Renee Zellweger is in the background, and she doesn't even talk. I know, dude. In the in the background. Star-studded cast. Uh, we have a uh, little little drink today, courtesy of our uh, great producers. So you know, in honor of Dazed and Confused, we're getting a little more Dazed and Confused. We cheers. We look each other in the eye as you cheers. And you drink. It's kind of. But hey, I don't want to have bad sex, so. If you don't look in the eyes, if you don't connect with the eyes during the cheers, seven years bad sex, look it up. It's uh, a thing. No, so, funny thing, I never heard that shit, but hey. That's what he told me. Yeah? Yeah. Who told you that? This this guy. Your alter ego? My boyfriend? <laughs> my, my, my boyfriend? No, I'm kidding. No, this guy, the, this guy at the beer store. He's a good friend of mine. Not my boyfriend. I am married to a lady. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> at all. No, hey. We're talking about, yeah, prostate wands. Go for it. Listen. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Days and Confused was directed by Richard Linklater. It was his follow-up to Slacker, which is like always been, uh, like Kevin Smith always shouts out Slacker as the movie that inspired him to make movies, which is what makes... It inspired I think, me to make movies. No, no, but that's what I think makes Days and Confused so good, is it's like one of the most realistic comedies of all time like in in terms of the way people actually talk and the way that like people actually have conversations and dialogue i think it's like one of the top movies of all time even outside of comedy mm. you know he captured like a realism that i think is, is part of the reason that makes it such a classic film yeah it's very uh it's very uh, Cassavetes, I would say. Yeah. Cassavetti-esque. Little Fellini in there? Eight and a half? Well, I don't know about Fellini. Uh, no, I'm just trying to name like all the old uh, movie stuff that I don't know like about. Like, um, yeah. Like it's, it was kind of like The Searchers. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, that was John Wayne and like, a, you know, just classic shots of Texas. And, uh, this no, was like the searchers, bro. What you talking about, man? <laughs> I'm just you said John Wayne. I'm just man, trying John to use. Wayne didn't even smoke no green. Man. I'm trying to use what everything from about? that class that I took in college. One, the, the, that film class I took once. See, that's when college. you went wrong, because you took, you didn't take what you needed. You took what they gave you. Anyway, back to days. Why you shouldn't do that is because we got the loud alien sponsoring today's show. God damn. And if you take what they give you. At the shop, you're never going to ever get the quality of what we have smoking right here. Back to Dazed and Confused. That shit is hilarious. It's a classic. Matthew McConaughey, that's my dude in that motherfucker, you know what I mean? He's like my alter ego in that bitch. If I was white, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? That'd be me. Hanging <laughs> you know out with the saying? younger guys. Well, hey, I'd just, be, I'd be, oh, just yeah. be that cool cat, you know, with a joint in my ear. You, you know are. what I mean? Yeah. You are. You're cosplaying as Matthew McConaughey right now. You know, oh, we don't need a, we don't need the white face or anything. <laughs> we just, no. we just get. It's all right, all right, all right. Uh, it's always all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I'll drink to that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, basically, this was like um, a coming of age movie for like all the. It was like the end of the high school. And they wanted it to take place, they've always wanted it to take place in one day, but it's actually really cool. They originally wanted the movie to take place in the in a car. They put in a ZZ the Top record. The whole fucking record. movie? No, yeah, this is what the movie, how the movie spiraled out of this. The Richard Blinklitter's original idea was just two guys in a car. 
they put in a ZZ Top tape, and the movie is the length of the entire tape. Oh, and, thank God. And it's just that them shit. talking in a car. That's corny as fuck. Yeah, it sounds like my fuck. That's like what I did in high school for like my thesis in uh, like TV journalism class, but it's pretty close actually. Pretty close to that. I'm, Shout yeah. out Vince Tremini. I'm glad I didn't do that. Anyway, it was such a star-studded cast that nobody really had to work hard on this on this film because it was such a flow to the whole movie. Everybody just came in there like and it jazz. was like effortless. It's like watching. It was like watching real life almost. It's like watching you know I mean? jazz. No, it wasn't like watching jazz to me. It was like watching real life. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, I, that's what I said at the beginning. He's so he's so good at capturing the ability. Like the same thing with Slacker. Slacker has always just been known as like a movie that's just about like talking with your friends and like it's it's a movie that like that showed Kevin Smith that anyone could make movies. Like this reminded me of like the Bogdanovich film. Um, what's his face? Mm-hmm. Shit, I forgot that. Yes, like, I'm high and shit. Hold on. Oh, the big picture show. The picture show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this was what this reminded me of, but like a, a more dated version. Kind of like, wasn't um or Jeff like, Bridges was in that bitch. or like a modern Robert yeah. Altman. Mm-hmm. You know, because like you're saying, like they're talking over each other, they're having real conversations. They're in the car. It's like sounded like me and my friends. You know, like uh, I, I like the specifically with Joey Lauren Adams when she's like talking with the other girls and she's like, oh, like tell me, like I won't be mad, and like she called you a bitch <laughs> and she called you a slut. That bitch. What that the hell? Bitch. It was yo, great. Yo, that though. shit had me dying, yo. When she was like, swim, little piggies. Swim. Listen, so, so listen, I want to talk about that a little bit. Like, do you think this is going to be a movie that's going to become like a, an un PC movie now? Because of like, you know, PC culture and like there's hazing in the movie and like there are all these like bad shit in the movie. Like, Matthew McConaughey's character I mean, I is don't technically think so. doing like some like statutory rape. It's so classic. How could you, like, be so, so Michael Jackson. rude about this shit? And so was uh, Bill Cosby was so classic. Man, you know, that's, that ain't <laughs> but that's the culture we live in. Shit. I'm saying, is that what's going to happen to this movie? Are they going to try to tear down Why Days and Confused one day? Days and Confused down. It's a classic. It's a feel-good movie. It ain't like one of those. It's just like real life. I mean, you can't ha- expect what happens in the movie. Just like when mm-hmm. Ben Affleck's character... Was chasing them little kids. Ben Affleck. That motherfucker was chasing them all day. Playing like the That's same real dude. life, dog. He was yeah. gonna beat they ass at all. And that costs. was a real problem. Sorry, I'm you getting some I mean? of this 710 labs right here. Um, and he's like playing the same character from Mallrats, which I thought was pretty funny. You know, yeah. he's playing like that bully character. You know something? You look familiar to me. I couldn't be. I'm, I'm never at the mall much. No, it's not from the mall. He going to get his his paddles in at all costs. You know what I mean? Wee! <laughs> Squee! <laughs> Which, like, I, maybe that's the problem. Maybe, like, there was just, this tastes delicious. But maybe you, you guys just had too much time back then, back in the 70s. What the hell was well, going hell on? Yeah, they didn't have cell phones. They didn't have all the bullshit we have today. I mean, honestly, they had way more fun. And their minds are probably yeah. a lot, you know, much more expanded than ours. Here, take a dab of that. This is really good. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking oh, about days that confused. The... Sorry. And this weed, this joint got me perved, though. It's real nice. This is that Loud Alien joint? Is that pre already know. Damn. What were you just saying about the movie? I was saying that, that one scene, though. I wasn't saying that, but that no, one scene I wanted, when, uh, I wanted, sorry. when they was in the back chilling, you know what I'm saying? They was chilling in the trunk and he had all the beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's uh, like wasting the beer. <laughs> And the little chick was sitting there with her. He was sitting with the chick. And uh, the dude drove by. He was like, fuck her, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yo, when I was younger, that shit always had me dying, yo. I don't it's, know it's why. Fair. It, was, it was still like high school was when I was in high school. Yeah, it was. It was realistic like that. Because it was, they had every, every fucking stereotype. That trying, was in fucking high school. Trying to have yo, a party at your parents' house. Yo, fuck this shit. Hold on. My gripe with this motherfucker. Why did the black dude, like, he ain't get no hoes, though? No. Why he ain't get no hoes? No. He, 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 ain't, they he ain't had even, hoes. No, they ain't even drop a broad in his lap or nothing. No. They, he, they didn't even get him a little flirt or nothing. He had hoes. He didn't hoes. have a little flirt or nothing. Let's just, let's just hope in the in the backstory that they created for this character, obviously. I'm sure he, he had hoes, obviously. Come on, man. Who doesn't have All hoes? he did was sit on the back of the truck and drink beer, man. <laughs> 
That's fucked up, man. Y'all should have had him out there a little more suave than that. That's all I'm saying. Because well, if it was me. This was Texas. You know what I'm saying? This was the 70s. I don't give a fuck about that. Talking about making a realistic movie. That's all I'm saying. Now it's different, you know? It wasn't different back then. It was what different you times. About, man? This was like, this movie was made in 93. Back. It was made in 93, but it takes place in the 70s. I mean, you're right. You got me there. It takes place saying. one day in 1976, <laughs> you, you got know? got me there, dog. The, uh, but uh, no. But what I'm saying is, I don't give a fuck about that. But they should have, you know, they could have, you know, kind of did a little something with his character. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a peacock. You got to let me fly. Uh, uh, well, but they, he was the good voice of reason. So. They went with a lot. I mean, it has that realistic vibe because they went with a lot of like that improv on set. Like Matthew McConaughey, his character has a lot of that improv done. And the only reason his character had so much screen time was because they had another character originally that like got in trouble on set. He's I think it was the dude whose parents were gonna he had a, he was gonna go have a party at their house when they go, yeah. go out of town. <laughs> he apparently like got into trouble on the set of the movie, and then they were like, actually Matthew McConaughey is doing some good shit right here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so they ended up doing a lot of that, and a lot of it was improv anyway. So he's he's made a career out of. I mean, we passed him. Yeah, I'm gonna pass that. Thing. Thank you. But. He did. I mean, but look, he popped out, and that just goes to Try show you too. Don't to always be prepared, and no matter what you do in life, you know what I'm saying? Because both ways too. When you, man, hey, for, for both people. Hey, hold up. Hey, can I can I get my little give your message? My, I'm can sorry. I get my little little message out for the know. people? You Go know for it. No, you fucked it up. Probably. No, Go. stop. Don't. Don't be a Man, cause my, 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 I don't know what the fuck I was gonna say now. Cause you were just gonna I'm say high. you gotta be always ready. Always you always ready. gotta be ready. Oh, yeah, always be ready. See, you're but not ready for I'm the saying. moment right now. Always be ready, and you never them. know when you need to be ready. You know, that's all, all I was gonna say is that both of them needed to be ready. That guy who screwed up should have been at the top of his game, so that it shouldn't have even come to the situation that they were going to Matthew McConaughey. But you have to be at the top of your game to be Matthew McConaughey and steal those scenes too, is what I'm saying. It works both ways. Yeah, you are right. Wow, this shit smells really good. What the hell is this? That's what I'm saying. That's Seven Ted Labs. You got some THCA crystals mixed in with some distillate in there. Uh, do, do we know what? Oh, he strength? said it was strong, huh? It's fucking tasty and strong. Excuse my French. Uh, sugar. What is the strain? It was something delicious. Powerade. I don't know. This guy has really got a, like an orange aid taste to it. Well, give it, give oh, a dab yeah. on that. Imagine if the people in Days and Confused were, had dab rigs in their car. Wow. You know? <laughs> Yo, about, I had a homie who used to ride around with the whole rig and shit. I'm like, you who's gonna G. make the new Days to Confused? Ooh, that'd be oh, dope. it's grape ape. It's grape oh, ape. Somebody just told us it was grape oh, ape. Oh, that's what's popping. Seven Ten Labs grape ape is a wow. That's Yo, one of my favorite that's old of all time. school. One of my favorite I used strains. I love grape ape. We talk about that all the time. How yeah. like the biscotti or yeah. like the you know the runs that uh, Loud Alien has. Ooh. That you really you taste that dankness, that purple dankness. Yeah. That's still really strong and fruity and tasty. That grape ape was my joint. Let me see what's cracking. Oh, see what's cracking. <laughs> I'm high. Me too. Uh, the uh, Richard Linklater made a sequel to this movie, kind of too. Everybody wants some, which wasn't really a sequel. It's a spiritual sequel, which just means that they wanted to like get your money but make a different movie. I think, right? It, the uh, it was about like a day in, in <laughs> Texas at a college. <coughs> Super that's a space. <coughs> that's made in a laboratory, my friend. Wow! Oh shit! God damn! By God! Hey, that's that's a 420 dab for you. Oh, see? Oh my you're, god! You're we are already <laughs> oh two my weeks god. behind. <laughs> you just was I about time to drink this motherfucker? Oh my god! Bro, well, you gotta finish that Hold too. On, I'm about to finish. But you're about literally you just time traveled two weeks. That was amazing, folks. That dab <laughs> that he took from there. Oh, oh my god. I'm getting this lighter for the <laughs> We want to take it to today's. Don't try this at home. Marijuana Minute. Wow. <laughs> On today's Marijuana Minute, we want to give a shout out to Herba Collective. Herba. In Santa Monica. Herba Collective. If you saw our 420 episode provided the giant joint challenge joint. I just said that. Say that three times fast. <laughs> that thing was big, man. 
I think it was big. That it was, was a, a half deal. ounce joint. Kind of a big deal. They, they have, got three uh, shops. Yeah. West LA, Sawtell, and Marina. Great looking shops. Great selection. Wow. Please go check them out. Yeah. And uh, we have some butts from them on the table today. So thank you again, Herba Collective. Appreciate you. Cheers to you. Cheers. Now back to the show. <laughs> All right, great dabs, great marijuana minute. I oh, wanna, yeah. I wanna highlight though what you were saying earlier. You were saying about taking chances and taking, you know, making sure you're taking advantage of the opportunities. Mm -hmm. What were you saying as an, oh, as an mean, actor? Well, you know that scene, uh, you know, like Matt was saying earlier, the scene with Matthew McConaughey where he was like, "All right, all right, all right." That was shot during a wardrobe test. Yeah. You know, he just went over there and they were like, hey, come over here, let's shoot this scene real then quick. And it ended up in the final movie? And it ended up in the final movie. So, I mean, just my point is, as an actor or anything you want to do in life, you just always have to be prepared and ready for your moment. It doesn't matter when it comes. It could come in the first year, it could come in the 17th year, it could come in the third, but yeah. you just have to be ready to go. Maybe you're, maybe, I, I feel that way sometimes about myself. I used to do some acting back in high school, and now I'm yeah. like, maybe I'm meant to be a really good dad actor hey. on, on shows, you know? You never know. You I'm got, not, you you know, got the dad uh, bod. Yeah, you I got you know? the dad bod down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get the dad bod down. You're going to ignore this loud alien joint. Of course. We're going to this. We're going to, uh, you so know. So tasty. Shout out again, Richard Linkletter. Love the uh, love the vibes that you laid down for us today. Yeah, that was definitely uh, one of my f most favorite films, actually. You know, because I can relate to a lot of the characters in there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, especially the cat who got his ass beat. Adam, wait, Adam Goldberg? Yeah. I love Adam he was Goldberg like, Fuck in this, this movie. Shit, man. I feel like uh, Adam Goldberg is such like a shaft in Hollywood. Like, he really could be like uh, Ben Affleck or whatever, but he is the Hebrew hammer. So, shout out to Adam Goldberg. Yeah. Fucking uh, cheers to you, sir. Yeah, uh, cheers to everyone. Something. We'd like to thank you guys for watching. If Appreciate you'd like to see you. some of our other episodes, please subscribe. If you'd like to check us out on our social media handles and so on. You have them probably presented here below us. I'm Justin. Find me places. Not uh, in life. That's scary. <laughs> he got tongue-tied. I'm Derek. Find me at underscore the Derek Scott. We appreciate you. Smoke a lot of weed. Put that, put that down so we could do, so we could cheers again. Do a last oh, I cheers. got a bong. I mean, I got the pipe. I got the joint. They know how we roll. Hey, you already know. Seven years. To seven years. Ah. Stay safe. Stay high. See you next time. Have a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to share with your friends or you want to follow up with us, please subscribe below and uh, get a little dazed and confused with us. It's just a little box right there. Pow! Hit it. Share with your friends, you know what I mean? Do the damn thing.